my loves welcome back to my channel this is a girl avi and i'm back again with another video as you know well, so today as you always know i was doing my wig cap off camera because it's easier for me and it's faster for me so right now what i'm doing is i'm putting the wig on my head to make sure it fits correctly that's some of the wigs when you buy them they actually don't fit it fits tighter in your head and you gotta hold it tight or try to work magic when it comes to that so this is what i'm making sure i don't have to do work magic at this point so I was gonna start laying the glue but then I forgot I did not show you guys that I cut the ear tabs to make sure the wig is sit sitting snug over your ears and it's not gonna irritate you it's not gonna hurt after the install so I did all of that off camera because I was having some difficulties when it comes to it like my hand was incorporated with me at that point I tried to cut it and it was not budging for me so I decided to just take it off camera right there I'm using a bowl hole glue that I got, I got off Amazon it came in a package with a bunch of stuff it came with um, the it came with the glue it came with the wax stick it came with the melting bag it also came with melting spray um head um edge cream um edge gel as well i'm so sorry like i'm over here stuttering i am so sorry yo so i applied two layers of glue this is my first one always my ladies my ladies always remember to make sure to let that glue sit and dry don't try to rush and do your hair uh even though i was rushing myself but don't be a me take your time make sure you have time in your hand when you lay your wigs and make sure that glue is getting clear. If it's not getting clear, baby, it's gonna be sticky and tacky when you put it down or when you're trying to take your melting band off, you're gonna see it. It's not gonna look good at all. So I'm putting it on the second layer because the first layer was clear. As you can see, it's cleared and it's looking very, very nice. But also when you're putting on the glue, you have to make sure it's thin layers. It's not thick, heavy layers. If it's thick, heavy layers, it's going to take forever for it to dry. So you need thin layers so your glue is able to dry. Do the dot dot method or just, you know, put a little bit and then rub it across, rub it all across or your, um, you know, the wig cap line. I always make sure I put the glue on the wig cap itself always and then I spread as I go because I don't like when I do it in front of the wig cap or you do it in front of the wig cap sometimes the glue is sometimes you put the glue too far away from the lace or it's just you know too far away not in the right spot so I try to put it on the line of the wig cap so right now just to make the process a little bit faster I use my blow dryer on cool not heat but on cool to get it dry normally i'll just use my fan but for some reason i was just too lazy to bring my fan out in the living room when i was doing it so right now i'm gonna place the lace in the glue oh that right place the lace in the glue <laughs> anyways so um i always try to make sure i pull the middle inside of the glue first instead of the left side or the right side because when you put pull, pull the sides first you would get lumps, a little, little wavy, like, you know, a little wave in your lace. And you don't want that at all. Like, I learned the hard way. I was going out one night and I was just in a rush. And I did that. The whole night, I'm feeling my lace. Like, the whole night. Because I feel like people are looking at my lace because they have a little wave. It has wave in them. Like, girl, that's not it. So always make sure you're pulling from the middle first. And then you go to each end. And that's where I use the, um, the comb to push back the hair so it's actually sticking. Honestly, I was so scared to letting it go because I know when you go to the, um, the hair salon and you know, like your, your hairstylist, they have you hold the other side when they pull the other one down. And they also hold, have you hold the lace while they put the, um, put the melting band around it. I don't have anyone to do that, so I had to just, you know what, say. I'm going to wish me the best in that process right there. And it did work out good for me. So now I tied it down and get that situated. So 
as you guys could see well you know not as you guys could see but um the wig the hair is kind of damped because i did the dye in the bleaching i did the bleaching literally the same day i installed this wig because i think it was a friday it was a friday i installed this wig last week friday and the wig i was too lazy to even blow dry it i just the um after I rinse it out, I take it out. To, um, after I rinse it out, I drop it in a towel and just dry it like that, and then put it on my head. But I also make sure the lace was dry before I was doing any type of, you know, before I start doing anything. I make sure the lace was dry and the front part of the wig was dry because I didn't want to work with a wet unit, even though I was still working with a wet unit. So right now, I took my mini scissors and I just cut a slit right in the middle and then I use my razor comb well you know eyebrow razor I use my eyebrow razor to cut off the excess lace you know the same thing you do on the first the um, one side you do on the second side but for beginners um, please make sure you're doing the three the three section method right if you're not used to cutting lace just do the three section method it is it, it is easier and simpler for beginners for me, I've been doing my own hair for a bit, so I got used to, you know, practice become perfect. I got used to doing just one slit in the middle and just do the rest as I go. I just, I use the scissors to cut around the ear tab part because I don't want to use the eyebrow razor and cut myself because I have, I have a habit of doing that to myself. Like, why do I always cut myself when I'm cutting this lace off? Especially when I use the, um, the three section method I really don't like doing that so right there it was a lot of excess lace at the front and I honestly don't really like that much lace on my forehead so I decided to just pull out some of the hair that's there and cut that excess lace with the hair Oh guys and for and for the hair the link will be in the description box below every single products that I use where I um, purchased them from will be in the description box below Now I'm gonna use the got to be spray to spray around the um the line of the lace to make sure I can melt it. I was gonna use the melting spray at first, but it wasn't spraying out correctly. So I was like, hey, what's the next best thing? Got to be spray, and that's exactly what I did. I tie it down and I let that sit for over 30 minutes. I got up, I did some actually I got up and did nothing protect um uh, particularly. I was just walking around and make sure it was dry. At this point, yo, I was feeling like, I was feeling this. I was feeling the hair color at this point. Like, I was feeling that hair color. I was like, I actually look nice with it. Because at first, I was so scared. Like, what if this color don't look nice with me? Like, what if this color don't look good at me at all? Like, what am I going to do? So right now, I just took my, um, my comb and I parted down the middle. And I was trying to get the perfect part. And this is something I'm gonna um, start to do. I'm gonna try something new. Before I install the wig, I'm going to make sure I have my part parted before I do all of that. So that's the wax stick that actually came in the box. So I'll use the wax stick to, you know, hold down the little flyaways because the 1630 wigs be flying. Like, them flyaways be flying. So for my new beginners, please make sure that you're doing it section by section don't be a me and do the this is me being lazy right now this is me being very lazy please i'm begging you guys do it section by section so it could be flat because you don't want no you don't want no puffy you don't want no puffy hair like it should be laid not puffy and laid 
it needs to be laid no puffy that's what i was trying to do at this point i was basically trying to make it flat without doing it section by section because i was being lazy so right now i'm gonna take off the melting band and i was somewhat scared i'm like i hope to pray it'll come out tacky or sticky or anything like that because got to be spray have a tendency of doing that so i had to make it so now you know i was just touching around it to make sure it's dry and it was fully dry and right here our girl started feeling herself i was feeling my, like right through this video i was feeling myself i was a little bit scared at first but a girl starts feeling herself with the color feeling herself so what I did was I used my foundation to, um, you know, my foundation and one of my eye, uh, my eyeshadow uh, brush to dab makeup to uh, make the lace disappear. FYI, guys, if you don't have the powder foundation, you don't have to worry. Just spray some of your liquid foundation and a piece of paper, piece of napkin or something, and just rub it out before you place it on the lace. Because if you put it on the lace soon as you dab it out of that foundation that spot is going to stay and it's going to be very very obvious so you got to wipe that brush off a little bit first before you start dabbing it on the lace as you can see baby that hair was being melt it was being very much melt at first i was deciding whether or not i should do baby hairs or sideburns or anything like that and i was like hey why not let me just try it so this is me right here pulling out my baby hairs and stuff like that and just be a hey, the funny thing is sue when it comes to baby hairs, I am not a big fan of them. I don't know how to do them. So right here was a process for me. It's either I am taking out the right amount on one side and then the next side I am not. As you can see, I was growing a little bit frustrated when it comes to the baby hair part. And right here, my man's well past and he said something that <laughs> he was trying to be funny at this point. But, you know, he's always going to be here. But back to the um, the baby hairs, I did section them out a little bit, and I was like I said, I was oh, I'm scared, but I also I figured out. I'm gonna let you. I figured that part out. So as I go, that's the melting spray that I have. Like I said, everything will be in the description below. I did spray it on my um on my lace so I can melt it. This is my final melt, and then I used a I had a melting band. But I cut it in two so the belt is a little bit slimmer. So when it's slimmer for me, it's better. But you know, two each is on. So right now I'm pulling the baby hair down so it don't get scrunched up while I um put the belt on. I look crazy right now, but don't worry about it. Your girl gonna come back. Don't worry about it, your girl's gonna come. Alright, so right now I am trying to style my hair. What I was going for was, you know, two baby hairs and probably a little bit. I was going to braid it in a little flat, in the nice cute flat braid to the back and have that. And, and then I was like, you know what, actually, never mind. I am going to do two puffs, like, you know, two little cute puffs and see how it looks so this is me right now sectioning it out and flat iron it i keep saying flat iron a hot comb the section so it's flat down and nothing is coming into the part where i'm trying to pull out so right now i got the first side to my lichens so I went ahead and used a rubber band to hold it so I could part the next side. Hey, at this point, I was proud of myself. I was literally proud of myself. Like, you go girl because I'm not normally with the styling I was going with a bust down middle part and or a side part or no part at all that's how I operate but I'm here trying guys I'm over here trying and right about now my patience was just wearing out 
it was wearing out because I could not get the same exact pardon. The pardon was incorporated with me at all. No matter how I tried, no matter how I part, no matter how I section it out, it was just stressing me out. I was ready to give up, but I'm like, no, Ava, you gotta do this style and give your subscribers some content, you know, some content. So stop, right? And I'm over here, like, so right here now, I start to like, you know, like, it's time to do cornrow or the puff. Let me do the flat twist. I did the flat twist, and, and I see, and I'm like, nah, that don't look good at all. I was like, nah. In my head, I was like, nah. Mm mm. I was like, nope, nope, not gonna happen. So I took it out. I took it out and I was like, I was frustrated right now. My, I was just, I was eggy right now at this point. But I was like, I keep telling myself, calm down, Avia. Calm it down a little bit. You got it. This is me trying to fix it so it can match the other side or something I could put with the other side if you get what i'm saying because i had a vision and the vision wasn't coming through and i right this is right where i give up but this is the outcome baby girls look at that this is the outcome Thank you.